All right, what is going on, everybody? This is Rip X from the World of Rip X, and I just wanted to take a real quick second to show you just a tiny bit of progress. I have finally uh, ventured into making dungeons, and of course, you know, uh, a lot of rooms like like the courtyard here, and a lot of the main portal rooms for the gemstone prophecies, I had actually done uh, before, but not really dungeons, dungeons. Um, to be honest, rooms like this were easy for me because I didn't have a ceiling. Which is also why the main portal rooms would always have that cool looking sky. Because I just didn't know how to freaking make a ceiling. But I did. So, the uh, Gemstone Prophecy 2 is actually going to take place uh, in, here in Skyrim. And it's going to start here in the Courtyard of Debella. The Courtyard of Debella is going to be in that mod as well. Uh, it won't have the uh, Maidens in here. Which, since they've been moved to a new ASP, are all now butterfaced, so we don't need to see him. Uh, them. I will just say, if you did not read The Origin of the Shire, it is a really, really good read. And it is a great example of how you can make a mod and create your own lore and do it intelligently in a way that will overwrite the lore, uh, such as introducing ancient hidden texts that have just become available which I always love to do so actually what you're going to do here is down here there's going to be a secret little thing <gasps> dun -dun. and it's going to have a real name not marker or storage unit let's go in there oh my here you go There you go. And then this is actually where you start. There's a little door hole down there. I'm going to have to uh, actually stop or plug up. And uh, kind of like the Bane Rift Cairn started it in the Genesis of Prophecy. This is the little dungeon. You'll come in here. You'll probably find a whole bunch of crap. And then you'll read a book here. I'm sure, something about destiny. You can make two different choices, but it doesn't matter because your true destiny will always take you to the place you need to go. Ba 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 ba. So this is all me. I made all this. I made all this. Well, with the creation kit, of course. Yay, yay, yay. And then there'll be something here, a book, or, or, or of course a book, because you know we do books here. And then of course, this is what I want to show you guys. This is no way uh, of being done. I have no clutter. I have no this. I have no books. I have no anything else. Um, I know you're saying, well, what is this? What is going on? Originally, I wanted to have everything inside this filled with water. But to be honest, I really don't know how to do that. Um, I might bring these out more and have this whole section full of water. I don't know. I can't seem to make the water squares longer. I can only seem to make them bigger. So I just kind of had to go with what I had to work with. I, I guess I could duplicate them and make another set. But that kind of looked weird. So if I'm here, you can actually see there is actual water here. And if you look real close enough, you will actually see there is, actually is a doorway behind these. Um, the one thing I don't like is this. See this opening here? So I'm going to have to fix that. But um, basically, um, you'll have your four uh, dungeons here. And then you'll have your main dungeon where you'll go to fight um, your last boss. And then after that, you'll be led to a room where you will witness a conversation of incredibly... M. Night Shyamalan twist quality twist. Now in the Gemstone Prophecy, uh, there was two big twists. One uh, big twist was that Bloodstone was actually um, Catherine, which was one of the old Diamond Maidens. And then the last little twist was the fact that Debella was actually the whole the old woman 
from the mod, the one that had been helping the maidens the whole time, because Debella just loves the maidens. She really has a soft spot for the maidens. So who knows what's going to happen this time. Uh, again, like I said, a lot of this is really empty. Um, I will take all ideas, um, criticisms, um, help, anything in doing these. Of course, the dungeons themselves will be separate cells. I don't want to put too much in the cell. But uh, that's where we're starting. You know, you can't have a main portal, gemstone portal room without blue fire and glowy parts, uh, as we know. So uh, that's just it. I just want to show you that. I uh, love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, and for everyone that's been supporting me lately with uh, making the dungeons. And I've been getting a lot of messages about, you can do it, man. You can make your own dungeons. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, I'm really excited about doing it. So it uh, may take a while. Uh, this second part I would say the second and third part together will be as big as the first part because the first part was really really the mod and then I just want to have a story that I want to tell that's really going to end up focusing on the Shire clan as a whole and wrap it up so then we're going to have our we had our new hope which we introduced to characters now this is going to be our Empire Strikes Back where we have a lot of action and we end on a really crazy note, down note. And then we're going to have our Return of the Jedi in Part 3, where we're going to set everything right and uh, kill a lot of people. So it's going to be great. So that is it. So for the world of Repex, this is Repex reminding you that no matter what you do, make sure you rip.